that I don't throw my life down syndrome. Let's start with something simple. Down syndrome is a genetic disorder that is caused by the total or partial tripling of chromosome 21. This is why it is also called trisomy 21. That means people with Down syndrome have 47 chromosomes instead of 46. This anomaly most likely occurs during myelin division. That is when the egg and sperm lose half their chromosomes. The error lies in one of the two games that does not divide its chromosome 21 and passes twice to the embryo, tripling that chromosome. This process is called free trisomy and is the most common in people with Down syndrome. There's another variant of trisomy called translocation. In this process, a piece of chromosome 21 from one parent breaks off and sticks to another chromosome, usually the 14. The result is the same, three chromosomes 21. In this case, either parent is a carrier. They don't have trisomy, but they can pass it on to more children and make other children carriers. So they should do a genetic test. Mosaicism is the least common form of trisomy. It occurs after conception. Trisomy is present in only a few cells. The percentage of cells affected may range from a few to almost all. The causes of trisomy are unknown. But in some cases, it's statistically related to the mother's age being over 35. Down syndrome is characterized by a varying degree of cognitive impairment. Heart diseases are common. In fact, it is the leading cause of death and children with Down syndrome may also have respiratory digestive or endocrine abnormalities, as well as vision disorders, hearing deficits, or dental problems. It is common for them to have impulsive behavior, poor judgment, no attention span, and no learning. They can also suffer from frustration or general irritation by being aware of their limitations. In any case, with 46 or 47 chromosomes, each person is their own world and develops differently. The Zan syndrome is not a disease. There is no treatment. There are further diseases associated with the syndrome. Early care programs for children are also very important. If you have a brother, cousin, or friend with Down syndrome, it is very important that you simulate their intelligence and empower their autonomy. They must be supported to develop their full emotional and intellectual potential. This syndrome is named after John Landon Down, who identified it in 1866, but he never got to find out the cause of it. In 1958, the Rome discovered that it was caused by an alteration in the chromosome. Since then, many have supported Down syndrome research. And thanks to all of them, people who have Down syndrome can have better lives. We kept asking for this video, and we now hope that it will help you understand and welcome people with Down syndrome. Let us know in the comments if you know someone with Down syndrome. And subscribe. Until the next video.